What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you how you can complete the Bunker 11 easter egg and get that spicy MP7 blueprint, Mud Dropper, the easy way. So the regular way to do the Bunker 11 easter egg challenge, it's a bit of a chore. It's best to do it in plunder so you don't have to worry about certain areas of the map getting cut off in the gas. I hate that gas, bro. I hate it. You have to find the ringing phone, go all stranger things, translate some Russian, then go find some more phones. Then once you've done all that, you can go to the bunker and it'll be unlocked for you to open. Me and a couple of buddies tried it for a couple hours with no luck. We kept not getting able to get it done before the match went in because of choppers and vehicles, kept getting shot at, blown up. We kept getting into gunfights at the phone locations. It was basically just a big old struggle bus, and we were sitting shotgun. But then we thought, wait, what if we just waited by the bunker, hid in the shadows like some ninja turtles, and when a team completes the Easter egg challenge, and they come up and try to open the bunker, we spray them down and reap the benefits of their hard work. So we gave it a shot. We hid. Two of us on the rocks on top of the bunker, one in the firehouse looking for them. There they were. We saw some poor unlucky fools fly in on their chopper. They ran up and opened the doors, and as soon as they did, we obliterated them. Then ran in and got the goods. I'm sure that team reported us, but it was worth it. So all you have to do is head straight to the bunker when the match starts. If you spawn in far away from the bunker, you can use a vehicle to get there. I would just advise dropping the vehicle a ways away so the team that does complete the easter egg is less likely to realize somebody's waiting on them. Because if they're running up to the bunker, they see a vehicle chilling, they see a helicopter there, they're going to be like, hold up, wait, somebody's already here. You actually have to wait for a team to open the bunker. At first I thought maybe you could open it up as soon as the light turns green, but no, only the team that completed the easter egg challenge can open the bunker doors. So it's imperative that you hide and make sure they don't know you're there until they open the doors. Because if they know you're there, they might not open it right away. They'll try to take you out before they open it. I would also definitely run a ghost class in case they pop a UAV or have a heartbeat and try to play it safe and scope the area out. So just stay hidden, stay quiet, and as soon as you hear that door open, it's showtime. Now the earlier you do this, the better your chances are of someone in your game trying to complete the Easter egg challenge. Because how popular it is right now, there's almost always at least one team going for this challenge in a plunder match. Now that might change in a couple months, so if you want to try this way of doing the challenge, the sooner the better. A lot of people might think this is a cheap way to get the gun to get into the bunker, but I care not. As my main man Kevin Malone once said, why say lot word when few word do trick? Plus it's not like the easter egg team can't get the gun. When they respawn they can go back and the gun is still there. Unless you want to be super dirty and your squad is nasty enough. You could gatekeep the bunker entrance and just keep taking them out when they respawn and try to come back. I'm not saying we did this, but I'm not saying we didn't. Anyways, yeah, that, that's it. It's simple. Go get your gun, player, player. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, the like rating would be greatly appreciated. And let me know in the comments section if you tried this method for getting in the bunker. Until next time, stay safe. Stay awesome. I'm out of here. Peace. It's yum! Yo, 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 yo. Non perfecta es. Incontinent. Hey, move it. Move, move it.